Hello everyone, Limpy here, welcoming you to the free MMORPG weekly news update for the week ending April 26th, 2013 from Inside the Dome. So unless you've been living under a rock for the past few months, you've heard of Neverwinter. Now this week, the game entered open beta early for the game's founders, with open beta tests hitting for everyone April 30th at 9am. Now there's always rumors for these games, and the latest is that we'll see some new classes in the near future. The Ranger, Scourge Warlock seem to be the frontrunners, but nothing is 100% confirmed at this time. I personally am leaning towards the Ranger since the game currently lacks a bow wielding class. Now I look forward to seeing everyone in the game this week on the Mind Flayer server. Olympians unite! Now hot off the presses and only announced this weekend, Gazillion lifted the NDA on Marvel Heroes. I personally saw the NDA as a mistake as Twitch streamers made Perfect World a small fortune by streaming Neverwinter early and getting the masses interested in purchasing Founders Packs. Our Marvel Heroes does have several weeks left before the open beta, so the NDA being lifted now, we can expect to see what's under the game's skirt. I for one will give you guys a good look at some live streams in the coming weeks. Additionally, it was announced that Stan Lee will have a part in the game. So it looks like his movie cameos are going to carry over into the digital gaming world. You gotta love that. We now have an official launch date for Ragnarok 2 Legend of the Second. This game has been in a testing phase for the past several months and has been receiving mixed reviews from those new to the Ragnarok world and those seasoned veterans and potentially purists to the game world. Either way, on May 1st, the masses will see the doors open on the Ragnarok 2 game world, which is set to a 3D, more modern MMORPG style, stepping away from its predecessor's 2D top-down style of gameplay. Players can also expect several events to coincide with the launch that will provide boosts and excitement to the game's launch. Well, spring is certainly here in the really real world, and it has also arrived in the microvolts world as well. With the all-new Spring Loaded update hitting the game this week, and with this update, players are being treated to an all-new junkyard map to do battle on. Spring-themed weapons are also in the latest fashion, with items ranging from an umbrellas to shotguns. Not to be kept out of the mix, costumes and more round out this latest update. Also being hinted at, the upcoming Space Race touted as the biggest event of the year in Microvolts. So stay tuned as we'll have more on that in the near future. Now this week we got some exciting news from the City of Steam camp, and it has been announced the game will officially open for early access beta testing on May 10th. Now the details point to this still being a form of closed beta, as it has been stated that this will lead up to the open beta and will serve as a testing ground for many new features and improvements, basically most of them coming directly from player feedback. So don't think that the team is going to sit on its latest build though. With the latest testing phase, they are asking players to continue to bring ideas and suggestions as they hope to continue to update and evolve the game right up through the open beta testing phase. I always love it when classics keep updating and the free 3D strategy MMORPG from Nexon America Atlantica Online has a new update, Rise of Atlantis Awakening. It includes the Lost Continent, its capital city of Antilia, two new classes, and a new mercenary. Antilia has all the benefits that Rome has on the main continent and will act as a staging area for new users who start a battle mage or a blade master. Now what's a battle master you ask or a blade master? The, battle ma the blade master is one of the new classes with the ability to attack an entire row of enemies and one behind. And the battle mage is the second new character and devastates multiple enemies with magical spells. In the Forgotten City raid map, players who defeat the final boss can obtain a key to recruit a new powerful class, a mercenary, Gigas. And flying horses have arrived as well, so check out the new Dark Pegasus equipment gear. Now we have news from game developer Ubisoft who wants you to bring to life your very own island empire. With more than a thousand buildings and numerous decorative items, gamers are able to create the most fantastic archipelago in their minds can imagine. All graphical elements stay true to the Anno franchise in this current rendition Anno Online, currently in the closed beta testing phase. Now you start on a deserted island with only two buildings, a harbor, and a warehouse. Trade by ship proves essential to building, managing, and turning your territory into a true commercial empire. You can rent ships, build your own to conquer, and settle new lands. Develop an expansion strategy with other island hoppers through the guild system. You can even start your own guild in this free browser-based game that uses a detailed economic system enjoyed by Anno fans the world over. 
Ready to establish your own trading route to lands across the sea? Dive in through the link at MMODan.com. Germany and the USSR have let loose the dogs of war once again, dispatching new tanks to the front. The World of Tanks 8.5 update expands its rosters of World War II tanks with new light and medium tanks like the Tier 10 Leopard 1. This new update is also likely to prove a little easier on the wallet. Whereas players used to acquiring premium consumables with only premium currency purchased with real world money, will now be able to make those purchases with credits earned through gameplay. Best of all, non, both paying and non-paying players will be able to create three member platoons and companies. Visual revamps of popular maps and the introduction of new battle arena Pearl River help bring to life this terrible action of what many call the only good, world, good war of the 20th century. Three terrifying new monsters are waiting to tear you to pieces in the first raid of the latest dungeon update for the free fantasy action MMORPG content of the Ninth Seal. The extreme dungeon, Bardell's Seal, can be accessed by characters above level 62. The God of Fire, Bardell, has escaped his pit of fire with the help of the evil Nefer. Players must fight off Bezelis, Revenge Moloch, Nefer's minion Krios, and not so terribly sweet Rebecca Twins to recapture Bardell and earn extreme gear. Particularly merciless, these three raid monsters are best defeated by a full party of four players. So join forces or attempt to hog the glory and perish in flames of your own hubris. Now are you a returning player? Be sure to claim your free package of special rewards, including a new soul truthful wing, class changer, and beachwear gear. And stay tuned for the second extreme dungeon raid coming later in May. Now we have more from the latest expansion from the award-winning free-to-play MMORPG The Lord of the Rings Online. And players can take now take a direct role in battle for Helm's Deep and experience 10 new levels from 85 to 95. New skills, completely updated class specializations, and both mounted and unmounted combat will challenge you as you make war against the repulsive hordes that serve Saruman the White. Let's not forget about the newly discovered landscapes of Western Rohan with the capital city of Edoras and many other new areas for players to explore, all while continuing the epic storyline that players have come accustomed to from this long-running title. You can also earn rewards for your contribution to the war effort. Win or lose, you do make a difference. Now one monster is never enough, right? How about 60? Killer Combo has introduced a new system to the free MMORPG Elsword that allows players to gather up more than 60 different monsters from Elsword's 7 unique worlds. Each monster card dropped by enemies can be used to summon a separate, ferocious ally in arms like the energetic Armadillo. But beware, choose to summon the beast and the card will be used up. So feel free to get to know your monster first in the training room where he can be activated repeatedly to determine whether you're both a good fit. Sort of like a monster dating service. With the Elsword's second anniversary approaching, two special creatures are available for summoning for a limited time. The heroic Wellum, based on the fan favorite Wellum Foru, and the diabolical Lord Ran. Plus, May 1st to the 7th, players will be given the opportunity to earn the commemorative Aisha coin. But you can start questing for other anniversary goodies right now. Now that's all for this week, but for more info on all these titles, head on over to mmoden.com. Also remember to comment on this and other MMO Den weekly videos and earn a chance to win one of our five weekly prizes given out each and every Monday. For now, this is Limpy for MMO Den. Until next time, thanks for watching.